Hey guys, Trevor here. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to check if it's an original iPhone display. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, if you just bought an iPhone or you're looking at one and you're wondering, is this screen or display original to Apple? There are a couple things that you can do to find that information out. The first thing is let's hop into the settings here. We'll scroll down and tap on general. And then at the very top, let's tap on about. What you're gonna look for here is that there's a warning that says the parts are unknown or there are specific parts that are unknown like the display. So you can see it doesn't pop up for me because I haven't replaced my display, but there is this support article here. And basically if you go in here and Apple has replaced that screen, it will say under the about, it will show display, genuine Apple part, iPhone display is a genuine Apple part. It was repaired on, in this case, the date, and then you can hit learn more. So in this instance, if you see this, then it has been replaced, but it was replaced by Apple to Apple's specifications. However, if it says on here, display unknown parts, it says the part was replaced with a non-genuine part and it was already installed on another iPhone, it's malfunctioning, or the calibration wasn't complete. So these are all different things to give you an indication that it is not a genuine or original Apple display. That's the number one thing that you can do on that phone because it should be able to detect it. Some other things that you want to look for are the seams around the display. It should be perfect. There shouldn't be any variations or any gaps in the body of your iPhone compared to the screen. Basically, Apple does a fantastic job of having a really small mar margin of error in terms of the display size and the screen size and the phone, and you shouldn't see any issues. Another thing is you can swipe down from the top right and turn the display brightness all the way up. And then I would just inspect everything, make sure that all the colors look good, there aren't any dead pixels or issues with it, and after you inspect it and go into the settings, if there aren't any issues, then most likely you're good to go with an original Apple display. I hope this helps. If it did, hit the subscribe button down below. It really helps me out. And I'll catch you on the next one.